perdimos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Big hair double. All right. Saul, good evening. How are you? How are you, teacher? I am fine. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Thank you very much for asking. So, good evening, David, and good evening, Santos. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Uh, the name of the yesterday, very good. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Let's no, see. No, ya va, no, ya va el libro, el ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no worries. We will have more of those games in different classes, right? Excellent. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Edmundo. How are you? Hi. What about you, teacher? I can't complain, my friend. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Okay. So okay. let's see here. All right. All right. So everybody, it's time. So thank you very much for being here on time. I truly appreciate it. So we are going to start right now with the new activities that we have for tonight. Right. So, well, uh, let's see. We have a lot of activities to work on this one. And the next one, it's one of my favorite ones because it helps you to improve your pronunciation, your intonation. All right. And I take a look at this one right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. That's a tongue twister. Yes, that's a tongue twister. All right. So, have you seen this tongue twister before? No lengua. Yes. Have you seen this one before? No, no. No. All right. No, awesome. No. So, well, let me just go ahead and uh, first of all repeat it for you so you can check the pronunciation. And then you guys are going to be practicing with this tongue twister. All right. So let me start right here. It says Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Let me do it one more time. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. One more time. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Easy, right? So it's about the specific sound of the uh, SH, right? The sh sound, right? Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, mm. she, she needs. Okay, with this tongue twister, we have to be careful because if we don't pronounce uh, the word correctly and we say she sits, we are talking about something different, right? And we don't want to say that expression. Okay, so let's see here. Remember, if you said she sits, you are basically saying this thing here all right well let's see one more time 
Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits and where she sits, she shines like that, all right? So I am going to give you a couple of minutes right now to practice, okay? Um, so we have like two minutes so you can practice, 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 practice. I will repeat it for you again. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits and where she sits, she shines. Try it, try it, try it, try it. You can do it, you can do it, come on. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let's just practice. Susie works in a shoes shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Come on, everybody, you can do it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Practice, 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 practice. Come on, come on, come on. So let's see, let's see the team. There you go, there you go, there you go. Questions, 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 questions. Yes or no questions? What do you mean, Chines? Shines. You mean Shines. this one? Shines is Bria. Shines. This one, right? Teacher. Ten, ten teacher. Okay. Huh? Sit. Shines. Shines. Shines, shines, shines. Sit. Sentarse. Mm. Entonces, Susie. Entonces dice, Susie works in Chinese. China. This one, this one. Okay. Maria, listen. This is shoe shine. Shoe shine. Mm -hmm. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she, she, nest, she shines, she shines, where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she nice. She shines. She shines. Okay. Excellent. All right, no worries, no worries. Okay, everybody, time's up. So now I would like to listen to some of you participating, pronouncing this song on Twister. Who can be here? My first volunteer. Uh -huh. First I volunteer, do. volunteer. Adan, thank you, Adam. Ahorita. I choose child shop where she chai she sit and where she sit she chai. Thank you very much. It's really appreciated, right? So remember the pronunciation. This one sits and this one shines. All right, shine, shine, shines. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Me teacher. Yes, thank you, Mundo. Go ahead. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. All right, excellent. That was actually a very good job. I really appreciate it, right? So super nice. Thank you. David, go ahead, my friend, please. Thank you, Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she oh my god that was actually super nice i really like it so that was nice 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 good job thank you who's my next volunteer jose benjamin all right lucy work and shoe shine shop 
where she shine, she sit and where she sit, she shine. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. Truly really appreciate it. That was nice, nice, nice. All right. So, thank you. Who's my next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Next, next, next. Who's next? Okay. All right. Go ahead, Ever. Hi, teacher. In a... She works in a shoe shine shop where she shine, she sit, and where she sit, she shine. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right. So, Saul, go ahead. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And thank you, everybody who participated on this activity right here. You were doing a very good job on this one. So remember, uh, Tom Twisters are going to help you to improve your pronunciation, right? And it is a good exercise for you to practice your pronunciation, your intonation, and final sounds, right? Final sounds like shh, for example. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's continue with the next part right here. So let's see what we're going to be talking about tonight. All right, everybody, so tonight we are going to be talking as well about simple past, but in general, right? So remember, last night we were talking about was and where. Now we are going to continue talking about simple past, but we are going to talk about like, the structure to talk in past using different verbs, right? So for this one, I have um, this chart there that shows you um, like the different structures we have, affirmative, negative, and questions, all right? So this is the structure and also it has examples. So you can see this one right here. So let's just start please right now with this one. So we go here with the affirmative structure, all right? So first of all, we need to remember what are the subjects. So the subjects are gonna be here. How do you pronounce those subjects right here, my friends? Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce those subjects? Um, As you, you we, we they. Thank you. And what about this ones right here? He, he she, it. He, she, it. All right. Exactly. Right. So, and in simple past, we are going to be uh, using, you know, um, sorry here. We are going to be using, um, you know, the verbs in past mm -hmm. with all the subjects right here. So there is no difference between third person, singular, and plural. So it's exactly the same thing here. So the verb, how it's the verb? The verb, it's going to be in the past form, all right? So the, the past form here. In the examples, you can see here, all the verbs are regular verbs, which means that they in that they end, sorry, they end in ED. Right, so but we have also irregular verbs. So, for example, well, let me help you with this one here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what is the past of the verb go? What's the past? When very good, excellent. So, you see, it doesn't have ed at the end, it includes only um, it's irregular, right? And we call it irregular mm -hmm. because it changes completely, all right. So thank you, Ellen Nielsen, all right? Then we go for this one. So for example, what is the past of the verb uh, speak? Spoke. Spoke. There you go, excellent. So, and that's it. As you can see here, the difference on those verbs, it's that they are actually written in a different way. So for example, what about drink? Drunk. Drunk, Drunk. all right? What about drive? Drive, driving. Uh-uh. Drop, wrong. drop. There you oh. go. Exactly. exactly. Yes, it was verb. So these ones you okay. have right here, my friends, are the irregular verbs. Those are irregulars. We call it irregular because when you talk about past, the structure changes, right? So todo lo demás changes here. So, and then tenemos los regulars, que son los que terminan en... ED, como los que tenemos en estos examples right here, right? Esas son las estructuras like in past. Now, in affirmative sentences, we will always use the verb in past, 
All right. So there is no auxiliary. All right. So um, in, in affirmative sentences, no auxiliaries. You have to use the verb in past. Okay. So for example, we have this one right here. It says, I lived in London. Repeat it, my friend. I live in London. I live in London. There you go. Excellent. So he watched a movie. Repeat it. He watched a movie. Thank you very much. All right. So then actually that's how you say them here. Then let's go with the negative. For the negative and also for the questions, we are going to use an auxiliary. And the auxiliary here is going to be did. Did, did, did. Yeah. All right. So uh, in the negative sentences, it, did is already combined or, you know, joined here with the negative expression, which is not. All right. So this can perfectly be here, for example, did not. All right. Like this one. Did not. All right. So we have it like that. It can be did not. And contracted, it would be didn't. Yeah. All right. So this is how you do it. All right. Then the, uh, the subjects are going to be all of them again. And there is no difference. Mm -hmm. You are going to use exactly the same subject. I mean, the, sa the, the same auxiliary with all the subjects, right? I didn't, you didn't, we didn't, they didn't, he didn't, she didn't, it didn't, for example. So there is no difference in that. Um, now, what's the correct way to use it? Uh, excuse me here. What's the correct way to use it? This way or this way? Well, both. Both are okay. All right. So they, there is no problem. Now, when you are typing, for example, on the phone or when you are sending a text message, it's more common to use the contraction here, didn't, right? But when you are speaking, you can use didn't or you can use did not. That's not a problem. So then what happens with the verb? Pay attention to this part here, which is very important. The verbs are going to be in base form. You know, the verbs are not going to change. And you said like, teacher, why? If it is past, that is correct. The sentence is in past but the verbs are not going to be in past so in negative sentences. Why not? Because we are using the auxiliary. El auxiliar nos va a decir, o nos va a entender que it is in past. Okay? So, and then uh, we have these ones right here. So, for example, aquí teníamos, you know, this example here in affirmative, where it says, he watched a movie. So, in this example, the verb, is in past, as you can see it here, right? But in this example right here, we come here, eh, which is the same, we have the negative. So he didn't watch a movie. As you can see here, <coughs> the verb is going to be in base form. You know, dice acá que no se agrega el de, porque el verbo se mantiene en forma base. And the, eh, the past is going to be represented by the auxiliary didn't. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes, yeah, it's clear. Okay, so for example, how do you say, um, let's see, how do you say, yo no me bañé, for example, right? Mm -hmm. I, 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 didn't, I didn't take a shower. I didn't take a shower. Okay, for example, how do you say, yo no bebí café? I didn't dr drink coffee. Exactly, right? How do you say, yo no vi televisión, for example? Mm -hmm. How do you say, yo no vi televisión? I didn't watch TV. I didn't watch TV. I didn't exactly, watch TV. Right? So, thank you. That is correct. As you can see, we use the auxiliary didn't, and then the verb is going to be in base form. Now, let's go to the last structure we have right here, which is going to be the question structure, right? <laughs> For the questions, we also uh, use the auxiliary did, but this auxiliary, it's now at the beginning of the yeah, question, yeah. <laughs> right? So it is going to be the first part right here. It says here, did, all right? So this is going to be the first thing. The questions start with did. And then we use the subjects. Any of those subjects can be there. After the subject, we are going to use here the verb. 
in the questions, the verb, it's not going to change neither. The verb is going to be exactly in base form, right? Why not? Because we are using the auxiliary did here. And that yes. gave us uh, or gives us the idea that is actually in past. So now, what would be the example right here? So let's see. Imagínate que tenemos this sentence right here que dice que yo viví en Italia. Did you, oh, sorry, tú viste en Italia. And then you go, how would that be, the, how the question uh, can be possible here? It says, did you live in Italy? Like that one. Or she says that she watched a movie. So that you'll be like, did she watch a movie? You can see here, the verb in the base form. So no changes here. Now, if you want to make a question. So for example, how do you say, eh, te bañaste? How do you say that question in English? Uh-huh. Did you, did you take a shower? Did you take a shower? All right. How do you say, tomaste café? Did you drink coffee? Did you drink coffee? All right. Very good. How do you say, trabajaste? Did you work? Did you work, for example? All right. That is correct. So, my did friends, you do you have questions about the, um, the, the information that I just explained here? No question for me. No, no questions. What about the rest? Do you have questions? No question. No questions. Are you sure? No. Okay, no problem. All right. So before we go with the next activity, let me just check attendance right here. All right. So Adan Iglesias. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ellen Nielsen, yes, ya lo vimos. Teacher. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Carlos Alberto Santos. Uh, okay, very good. Uh, Carlos Cruz. No Cruz, all right. David Antonio Rosales. Thank you, my friend. Edith Represa. Not here. Uh, Edmundo Martinez. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Enrique Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, my friend. Erika Guillén. Ah, la chica me está faltando más. All right. Eh, Ever Gallegos. Ever yes. forever. Thank you. Franklin. Yeah, thank you. All right. So, Herbert. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, yes Herbert. Teacher. teacher. Yes. Teacher, uh, my friend, Franklin. Yep. Ya lo pusimos, Franklin. Franklin de la O. Ah, exacto. Thank you, thank you. Luego va Herbert, so thank you. Thank you, Franklin and Herbert. And then, uh, Jose Benjamin. Present teacher. Thank you, my friend. Juan Francisco. All right. María Cedillos. Good evening, ahí, teacher. Ahí está, ahí está Juan Francisco, Sierra. Ahí está Juan Francisco, pero no puede entrar ahí. All right. Where? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maria. Eh, Juan Francisco, where is it? I difficult in connection internet. Oh, okay. Internet connection. Internet connections. Okay. Very good. So let's see. Uh, Monica Merino. Okay. Um, Santos Arias. Yes. Present teacher. I am here. Yes. Saul Martinez. Aquí estamos. Yes. Uh, Wilber. Wilber Reed. Present teacher. Thank you very much, my friends. Appreciate it. All right. So, well, uh, so a pequeño comment, people, please. Uh, Carlos Cruz, yes. Uh, do you know anything about those people who don't join the class? What happens or what's the reason or are they working? ¿Saben qué ha pasado con esas personas que no se están conectando? Present teacher, Edith Toledo. Oh, hello, Edith. All right, nice to meet you. All right, so. Uh -huh. Well, 
Eh, si ustedes tienen la oportunidad de verlos, por favor, eh, you know, van a saber que es importante que se conecten, right? Por ahí nos hicieron un recordatorio temprano ahora, las chicas de servicio al cliente, y eran bastantes los que hacían falta ayer, así que try to, like, let's see here cuántos hay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, somos 19, supuestamente aquí, 19, y hay 14, ahora hace falta 5, Así que, well, let's see what happens, people. And if you can help me to invite them, si me pueden ayudar a invitarlos, please. Remember that tomorrow we have classes. ¿Verdad? Se les voy a olvidar. Tomorrow we have classes. All right. So, let's see. Let's continue right now. Okay. Let's continue with this one. Let me clean here the screen. And we will continue here now. Okay, this is the first exercise we're going to be working on tonight. It is the following. So, we are going to make, a, you know, the present uh, sentences or the present questions into simple past. Pay attention here to the example, all right? So it says like, he goes to bed early. This is present, present, present. And then I have a question for you. This sentence is affirmative, negative, or question? Affirmative. It's affirmative. That's why here we have, he went to bed early. Number two, it says, we don't like onions that is present is it affirmative negative or question negative. 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 negative so that's why in past we have to write we didn't this is the difference like onions then we go with number three number three says Stuart lives in vancouver affirmative negative or affirmative question. affirmative affirmative so what will be the the um uh, in Vancouver. Uh -huh. Wait, one one. let me change the color. Okay. Okay. Stewart. Stewart. Uh -huh. Live. Uh -huh. In Vancouver. In Vancouver. All right. Excellent. And then we have the simple pass as well. Thank you. Then we have here number four. Number four says here. Does she exercise? That's a question. Mm -hmm. That's a question, yes. Yeah. Did, and... did, did she exercise? Uh -huh. Did she, she exercise. exercise? And then the question mark, super important. A question mark at the end because it is a question. Thank you. Did she exercise? That is correct, Adrian. All right. So then he says here, I hate cooking. That's a fear buddy, right? I hate cooking. All right. So then we continue with this one. It's a fear about it. So what is the path of hate? Um, hate? Yeah, it's ED at the end. So it will be I, I hate it cooking. Cooking. I hate it cooking. I hate it cooking. Very good. Excellent. So then we got the number six. It says they played video games. So it is also a favorite. What is the pass of play? They played mm -hmm. video games. Video? Video games. Games. They play video games. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So then we go with number seven. Number seven affirmative. is affirmative. affirmative. That's correct, right? So what's the pass of no? New. New, exactly. All right. So he knew the answer. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Then it says here, I forget his name. So what is the puzzle forget? For God. For God. So the answer in past will be? I forgot his name. God. For God. Name. His name. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much for that one. All right. And then we go on the next one. They don't study history. Uh -huh. They didn't. They didn't. Uh -huh. they what didn't will be the complete sentence in the past? Study history. Mm -hmm. That's correct, Maria. They didn't study history. history. Thank you. All right. And the last one, it says right here. Do they, they drive? drive. Do, do they, they drive? drive? No, uh -huh. do. 
did. 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 They drive. Exactly. Drive. Remember that we are in past. So the auxiliary is going did to be they B drive. for everybody. Mm -hmm. Did they drive. There you go. Did they drive? All right. So that's that's the correct answer. So questions? No question for me, please. Okay. What about the rest? No questions. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, well, let me just clean again this screen. Okay, okay. There you go. And let's continue with the next activity here. All right. So now this is an activity that we are going to be working here in, with someone else. And because we actually need to complete this conversation right here, all right, in simple past. So it says right here, hi, my name is, and then you are going to introduce yourself. So for example, I will say here, my name is JJ. All right, so, and then you go on this one. Hello, I am, bueno, lo vamos aquí, I am, all right, so like this one, I am what, people? Otra persona que está en la conversación contigo, of course, right? So, sure. I am aquí, Magdalena, nice to meet you. All right. Maria, Maria. Maria, Maria vaya, más cortito. I don't like Maria. <laughs> All right. Maria, so Maria, Maria, nice Maria is nice. I like also. Magdalena, teacher. Ya, yeah, Magdalena, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Magdalena. All right. So, good to meet <laughs> you too. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. What do you want to know? Well, where, where were you born? Esa es la primera question. Que se repite aquí, por cierto. Entonces, eso lo vamos a hacer esta vez. Where were you born? What's the meaning of this one, people? ¿Dónde naciste? Exactly. Entonces, vamos a responder aquí, for example. I was born. I was born in San Salvador or El Salvador, whatever you want to say. All right? In El Salvador. All right? Luego, continue with the next questions. All right? So, did you grow up there? Yes, I did, oh, yeah. right? Yes, yes, I did. yes, I did. Where do you go to elementary school? ¿Qué es la elementary school, my friends? Primaria. La primaria, yeah. right? So, yes, I oh, went yeah. to... Uh -huh. You could say here, for example, I went to yeah. Centro Escolar Maria Conchita, for example, all right? So, or uh you can say this one where do you go to high school what's the high school my friends bachillerato the bachillerato right i went to instituto nacional de cualquier ciudad right so or, um this this one right here did you study in language what is a foreign language people teacher teacher yes wait Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Lenguaje extranjero. Este, ¿de quién es ese micrófono? Bueno, lo voy a apagar todos. All right. Language. Okay, let's continue. So, when you got this one right here, it says, eh, bueno, estamos en foreign languages. What is foreign languages? Lenguajes extranjeros. Lenguajes extranjeros, exactly. All right, so. And then you go on this one. You can say, yes, I studied um, English and French. Or if it is negative, you can say negative, right? So no, I didn't, right? Then when did you first study English? How do you understand this question into Spanish, my friends? Mm -hmm. In the computer. <laughs> All right, when, but it says when. So, the last one, the, the, the last year. The last year, for example. So, we're de cuando. So, the last year, for example. Oh, no problem, Juan Francisco. No problem. All right. So, when did you graduate? Cuando se graduaron, right? So, from high school, from the university, whatever, right? Or from the academy, for example, right? Because all of you are in service. So, you went to an academy uh, to become uh, an officer. All right, so, and then you go on this one. How old were you when you moved to, aha, uh -huh, se han cambiado de ciudad? Have you moved to San Salvador, for example, to a different city? You can say that one, all right? And this is, that's exactly the activity you guys are going to be working on. 
Is it clear? Yes. Va. Remember, everybody. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms right now. Así que pilas ahí. Estén atentos, please. How many people I have here? There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Bye, my friends. All right. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Remember, did you send the, the um, this is screenshot to the group? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. The previous screenshot and the screenshot, Mister. From this one, Mister Mundo. Uh huh. If you can help us with that. Okay. Antes de que los mande los grupos. All right. All right. I put it in the WhatsApp group. Teacher, no problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. All right, so, all right, now I'm going to send you to the, um, to the, to the breakup rooms. Eh, participen, please, y si hay alguno que, pues, no, no pueda a, hablar o quedó solo, me avisan, please, para poder moverlo, all right? Yes? Excellent. So, ahí vamos, please, enter to the rooms. Um, what's up, Wilbur? Ah, que tiene dos, dos dispositivos. Okay, fine. Entonces, espérame, Wilbur. No vaya a ser que haya separado los dispositivos en diferentes grupos. One second. Me voy a salir del celular, teacher. Me voy a quedar en la máquina. Va, 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 va. Okay. Right, no problem, no problem. I am ready, teacher. Ok, ahorita lo ponemos aquí con Mr. Ratzin. Ok, you can join it right now, my friend. There you go. Mr. Saúl is alone. Let's go to number... Ok, perfecto. There you go. Anybody else? Excellent. Very good. So now let's move here. Move me to number seven. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody's here. No. Okay. Number seven. Where I was born. Where, where, where. Hello. I was born in the Santa Ana city. Where were you born, Gallego? I was born in the San Juan Manuel Colapaz. Next question. Did you grow up there? Did? Did you grow up there? Um, I don't, I don't know. Grow up, it's crecer. Si creciste ahí. What? Grow up is crecer. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, Grow like, up. because, for example, a veces puedes ser de Santa Ana, pero creciste, por ejemplo, oh, 
en la chuapa o algo así, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Entonces, uh, the, la respuesta sería, uh, I don't grow up. Por ejemplo, si yo no crecí ahí, I don't grow up. Sería, so, I didn't, because it's I past. Didn't. Mm -hmm. okay. I right. didn't uh, grow up in San Salvador. Is correct, teacher? Mm -hmm. It's okay? Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Uh, Gallegos. Yes. When did you grow up? What is? How do you say, teacher? Grow, 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 grow up. Grow. Up. Grow. Donde? Entonces, I did grow. Greda, ahí sería Greda. Ahí sería, no, porque si es, si es negativo, se mantiene en forma base, sería siempre como oh, grow. Pero es positivo. Entonces, si es, si es, si es afirmativo, sería, se pronuncia grew. Grew. Uh, mm -hmm. sí. Grew. I grew in San Juan, ¿no? Y respuesta corta solo sería yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Respuesta corta sería yes, I did. Para decir que sí, correct. Correct, correct, correct. correct. What is the uh, other question? Next question. Where did you go to elementary school? Where ¿Dónde estudiaste de básica? What? <laughs> <laughs> Where yes. did you go to elementary school? ¿Dónde estudiaste básica? Ah. Pero no menos, ¿dónde estudiaste? I am student in the Dr. Sixto Padilla College. Okay, that's the answer. That's it. That's correct. Is correct. Gallegos. Where did you go to high school? I. I. I did. No, sorry. I. I did study. I just do in es es afirmativa o negativa? Es afirmativa o negativa? Es afirmativa. Entonces hay que usar el verbo en pasado, sería estudié, I studied. No, yo estudié. Sí, sin auxiliar, I studied. No se olvide. No se olvide. I studied. No, ahí se usaría, salía sería el verbo en pasado, que sería study. I studied in Institute José Simón Cañas, Zacatecoluc. Ok, fine, 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 fine. Excellent. Ok, guys, you can continue practicing. I will go to a different room. Voy a ir a otro room para ver cómo van sus compañeros. Ok, if you have questions, si hay preguntas, let me know. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good work. Next question. Next. Did you study any foreign? How are you, how are you doing? Como van? Questions? Yeah. Eh, estamos ahí, estamos tratando, teacher, de, de, de asimilar las preguntas para poderlas entender entre los dos. Ok, no problem. If you have questions right now, let me know. Thank you. Sí. Entonces, what did, dice, what did, When did you first study in English? Ajá. Entonces se dijo. When? When did you? Dice. Cuando lo, hici, cuando, cuando lo hiciste o cuando. Sí, Fears. Dice. Cuando lo hiciste por. Uh -huh. Ahí sí me trabé. 
When did you feel? ¿En cuál están? First. En uh, when did you feel study English? Ah, when did you first study English? Cuando estudiaste inglés por primera vez, por ejemplo. Ah, sí, sí, es que sí, no. Ajá, uh, abajo, when did you graduate? Cuando te graduaste. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. Y how old were you when did you move? Move to. Right. Entonces, si when, querés, when, when do you si te graduaste dice ahí en la otra when did you graduate ah, ¿cuándo te graduaste? Uh, in the English is uh, pre intermedio <laughs> vamos a ver <laughs> la risa <laughs> in the English nos pre, costa... pre intermedio sorry, three. Sorry, sorry teacher este, nos ha costado practicar por por el tipo de trabajo, pero vamos ahí queriendo hacer la lucha. No problem, pero you're doing very good. Lo están haciendo bastante bien. La cosa es no rendirse, right? Never give up. Thank you. Tengo, okay. tengo. Thank, thanks. Sí, sí. Ok, entonces sería how old were uh -huh. oh. you when? How old were you when you? I said. Uh -huh. What um, you? Uh -huh. Se, se, se diría que de you move to uh, move old era old esa de ahí sería ah, move de like for no, example de que te no, mudaste cuando te yo mudaste. tenía cuando te mudaste es como cuando te, uh -huh. ajá, o sea por ejemplo eh, 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 hay este como el libro San Miguel va uh -huh. cuánto tiempo tuviste cuando te mudaste a San Salvador como dijiste que vives en San Salvador por ejemplo oh. correcto cuántos años ajá, entonces sería How old were you? You moved to, and, uh, digamos, eh, ten years. Ten years. Ten, ten old years. years sería. O solo ten years. Eh, ten years old. Ten years ten, old. Ye, ten years old. Ten o sea, years diez old. años de mudarme. Ajá, hace diez años me mudé. O, ajá. O, o, o hace cuánto. Es que dice cuántos años tenía, pero es de edad. O sea, es, es de edad, o sea, es, por ejemplo, tenía 10 años cuando me mudé. Uh -huh. Entonces sería siempre 10 years, 10 years old. Ahí sí. I was 10 years old, correct. I was 10 years old. Ok. Bueno. I was 10 years old. O sea, tenía 10 años. Sí. sí. Ok. Bueno, te repasemos de nuevo. Ya medio bueno, entendimos. Sí. Well, well, no. Hi, right, my so, I, I will Hi. go to a different room, right? So if you have okay, questions, thank, let me know. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Hi, my name is Jose. Uh, hello. I am Mauricio. Nice to meet you. Microphone teacher. Microphone teacher. So, on each microphone. microphone. Thank you, 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 thank you. All right. So You're I welcome. was telling you that I was um, listening to you guys in the groups, and I know that you were doing a very good job. Other people said that it was a little bit difficult, but you were trying, and that's the most important part, right? To keep trying. So now I would like to have here. Um, Two volunteers. Uno que haga las questions and the other one who answers the questions. Who wants to be my volunteer here? Yes? Me, me teacher. Edmundo, thank you very much. Another person who works with Edmundo? Wilber. Wilber, all right. Wilber. Uh, who is going to ask the questions? Wilber or Edmundo? 
better. I, I, okay. I'll, do the, I, I, I'll do the question. Hi, okay. my name is Edmundo. Uh, hello, I am Wilbur. Nice to meet you. Good to me. Good to meet you too. Could you tell me a little about yourself? Sir, sir, what do you want to to know? Well, where you born? Where, where, where no. your bro? No, well, where where you born? Where where you from? Yes. Born. Uh -huh. Your microphone is your microphone is off, Wilbur. Uh, uh, did you grow up there? No, oh, you, you, I, I am asking you. Well, where you brought where you were? Y aquí voy a seguir leyendo eh, hacia abajo I was born. I, I, I was born. You you have to answer as I was born. You have to answer the questions, Wilbur. Uh, the first question is, well, where, okay, let's, where, let's, where was the woman? Let's do something. Let's do something. Wilbur, read the questions. En el mundo, give the answers. Okay. I, I so was Wilbur, born in Santa Ana. Okay. Next question, Wilbur. You run off there? I didn't. Uh, I grew up in a tiki island. Okay, continue, Wilbur. Where did you go to elementary school? School. school. Uh, I I went to the Escuela Urbana Mixta Antonio Jose Sucre. Where do you go to high school? Uh, I went to to the Incas at the public uh, institute. Did you study uh, any foreign language? I didn't. Well, didn't you first study English? Uh, I I started since uh, five years ago. When did you write write I didn't graduate right now. I, I hope to graduate. When the when I, I finish this course, all oh, all the world you when you move it to Santa Ana, I moved to uh, fifty years ago. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you very much, my friends. You are doing a very good job. I really like it. So thank you for participating in the activities here. Now let's just continue with the next activity here which is this one. Now, let's just organize this vocabulary, guys, so we have right here. Take a look at this one, my friends. So in this section, we have hobbies. Everybody repeat it, hobbies. Thank you, all right? Which is the, the activities you like to do in your free time, right? So then we have places. What is places, my friends? Places. Places and lugares. Lugares, very good, places. excellent. So then we have this one, pets. Right. Repeat it, pets. Yes. Mascotas. Mascotas. Mascotas, very good. And then okay. we have possessions. Repeat, my friends, possessions. There you go, excellent. So, and then we need to classify the vocabulary that we have here, this vocabulary and this vocabulary in the four areas that we have right here. So, for example, the word beach, where is it going to be? Hobbies, places, pets, or possessions? Place. 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 All right. So we Place. have here beach. Very good. Excellent. So what about bicycle? Uh, hobbies. 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 Are you sure? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Collect your comics. I mean hobbies. What's the show? Oh. Collect your comics. I will say this one is the bicycle here because it's it doesn't have a verse. He had a verb ride the bicycles. I used to call it a hobby, for example. There you go. Hobbies like collect comics. Possession. Possession. Okay. Thank you. 
you're welcome. So collect comics. Very good, excellent. Cat and dog? Pets. Pets. Very good. Pets. Cat, dog. All right. Very good. Pets. Paint, dog. Only paint? Use mm. this one right here. Paint. Hobbies? Paint. Yes, so para hobbies. All right. Hobbies, hobbies. Very good, excellent. What about play chess? What is play, play chess? chess. Very good. So it goes on hobbies. Yes, very good. Uh, what about this one? Rabbit. Uh, pets. pets. Very good. Excellent. There you go. What is a scrapbook? Uh huh. What is a scrapbook, my friends? Uh -huh. Possession. Possession. Okay, a scrapbook, it's um, un álbum de recortes, más o menos. Scrapbook. scrapbook. Maybe, maybe who? Maybe what? Possessions. 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 Right, so like that one, very good. So I got this one like a scrapbook here. Okay. Scrapbook. Okay, excellent. So then a uh, soccer ball. Hobbies. No Hobbies. play soccer. We're talking about the soccer ball. The soccer okay. ball is a possession. Possession. So the soccer ball. Uh, what about uh, aquí es una sola, people? It's supposed to be soccer summer come, come. Uh -huh. place. Ten. Place. A place. Places, places. Place. Okay, very good. Three house. Possession. Possession. Okay, very good. Three house, possession, teacher. Three house. All right. Play video games. Hobbies. 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 Play this dance. Okay, very good, excellent. And parrot. Pets. 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 Okay, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? The scrapbook. Oh, uh, the scrapbook. It's a como un álbum de recortes. Thank you. All right. Y parrots. Y loro. O perico. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's the same. I mean, in English, it's the same. Loro, perico. All right. So. Catalnica. <laughs> also, that one. All right. So, very yes. good. Catalnica. Okay. Yes. Excellent. So, now, everybody, let's just move here to the last activity. And this is going to be this one. Take a look. Sierra. All right. So you got this one. Everybody, let's choose the correct answer. All right. Exactly, right? Did she play soccer in high school? What would be the correct answer? Letter A, B, or C? Did she play soccer in B, Maybe a B. B? B. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played in basketball, B. That is correct. It's letter B. All right, so thank you. Good job, all right. What about the next one here? Number two, what is the best response to this question? When did you graduate from college? When did you graduate from college? I graduated from college in- Letter uh, B. Well, Later B, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Very good job. All right, so let's see this one. Next one. Choose the best question. Listen, the question. La pregunta, la respuesta es, I grew up in Houston, Texas. What's the best question? Letter B, letter A. Where did, Where did you grow up? up? Aha, very good, excellent. Where thank you very much. This one. A. Letter A, where did you? 
grow up because it is a question, all right? Very good. What about the number four right here? Number four, just the best question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Let it, let, letter A. Uh -huh. Letter A. When did you begin to study English? All right. Very good. Thank you. And let's just now move to the last one. The last one, the last one, the last one, which is this one right here. Number five. What's the best answer? Did you have a pet when you were a child? Yes, I did. Let us see. Let us yes, see. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, very, I did. Thank you very much for this one. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So, questions about vocabulary, my friends? No questions no. for me. No questions. No questions. No questions. All right. Excellent. Okay. And just to conclude today's class, I need two volunteers who can help me to read this conversation in past. Who are my two volunteers? And then we finish. Uh -huh. Me. Okay, El Mundo and... Uh -huh. Enrique. Oh, Maria, Maria. Okay, Maria. Jeff, Abby El Jeff. Mundo, King, Maria. Oh, hey, Magdalena, I'm sorry. Picture of you when you were a kid? Hey, are these pictures of you when you were a kid? Yeah. yeah. That from <laughs> my uncles? Uncles. Beach house. My uncles? Uncles? Beach house when I was a kid, we used to learn to spend two weeks there every summer. Every summer, wow, I bet that was fun. Wow, I bet that was fun. Yeah, we always had a great time. Every day, we used to, to get up early and walk along the beach. I have a great shared collection. In fact, I think it's Still, what put in the Attic. in the athletic? Mm -hmm. In the athletic. Hey, I used to collect shell too when I was a kid, but my parents threw threw them out. Threw them out. All right. Thank you very much, Edmundo and Magdalena. All right. So you were doing a very good job, and we are going to stop right here because it's time for you to go to rest. Thank you for joining the class. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Remember. We have classes tomorrow. Tenemos clases mañana. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Remember tomorrow. it. See you, see you next week. Can. No, see you next week. No, see you tomorrow, please. See you tomorrow <laughs> if I can. Uh, you have to. All right. Bye.